Recently in a dream I got to hear God the Most High speak to the world. He was responding to recent events on earth. God the Most High said he wanted to clarify his long time stance against humans killing each other. He said there is no difference between murder and killing. Stop trying to reinterpret my will. He went on. Look, I don't know, maybe I haven't made myself completely clear, so for the record, here it is again. Somehow, people keep coming up with the idea that I want them to kill their neighbor. Well, I don't. And to be honest, I'm really getting sick and tired of it. I didn't create you to kill each other, get it straight. Not only do I not want anybody to kill anyone, but I specifically commanded you not to do it. I thought it was simple terms that anybody ought to be able to understand. The Most High God said his name has been invoked countless times over the centuries as a reason to kill in what he called an unending cycle of violence. I don't care how holy somebody claims to be, if a person tells you it's my will that they kill someone, they're wrong. care what religion you are, or who you think your enemy is, here it is one more time. No killing, in my name or any other god for that matter ever again. As a matter of long-standing policy, he has traditionally left the task of interpreting his message of divine will to clerics, rabbis, priests, imams, and biblical scholars. He said they have all got it backwards. They think I'm the other guy from the Old Testament. I may be in there, but my way has been corrupted and convoluted by a people that think I chose them over my entire creation. They need to take a look again at their own book. I clearly gave the nations as an inheritance to all my sons. At some point in time, I had to take most of it back because of the improper treatment of the people. I did give it all to only one son, but he screwed it up so badly I had to send a more compassionate son to take it over to rule more justly. His name is Jesus. You may have heard of him. I'm really proud of him even if he is more like his mother the goddess. Anyway, theologians and laymen alike have been given the task of pondering the mysteries, deciding for themselves what to do as a matter of faith. My decision to manifest on the material plane now has been motivated by the deep sense of shock, outrage, sorrow and violence carried out in my name, and over its dire potential ramifications around the globe. I tried to put it in the simplest possible terms for you people, so you'd get it straight, because I thought it was pretty important. I guess I figured I'd left no real room for confusion after putting it in a four-word sentence with one-syllable words. How much more clear can I get? But somehow, it all gets twisted around and, next thing you know, Somebody's spouting off some nonsense about, God says I have to kill this guy, God wants me to kill that guy, it's God's will. It's not God's will, alright? News flash, God's will equals don't kill people. Worse yet, many of the worst violators claim that their actions are justified by passages in the Bible, Torah, and Quran. That may be true, but remember that was not me. That happens to be one of my good-for-nothing, wrathful, jealous sons. I sent Jesus to tell you that you had it all wrong, but somehow no one would listen. I even gave him as a blood sacrifice to that vengeful son. He did lay off of you people some, but you keep giving him power because you still pray to him. To be honest, there's some contradictory stuff in that book, okay? 
every member most of it is inspired by man's concept of me and most don't even know who the true creator really is so i can see how it could be pretty misleading i did my best to inspire them but a lot of imperfect human agents have misinterpreted my message over the millennia They've also been listening to the wrong message. Frankly, much of the material that got in there is dogmatic, doctrinal bullshit, to keep you enslaved and controlled by the one I call the god of this world. He's just an imposter. I turn my head for a second and, suddenly, all this weird stuff gets into the book of Leviticus, and everybody thinks it's me. It absolutely drives me up the wall. Look, there's no such thing as a holy war, only unholy ones. The vast majority of Muslims in this world reject the murderous actions of radical extremists. Just like the vast majority of Christians in America are pissed off over those bigots on the 700 Club. But, no, some assholes have to come along and revive this stupid holy war crap just to further their own hateful agenda. The God Most High stressed that his remarks were not directed exclusively at Islamic extremists rather at anyone whose ideological zealotry overrides his or her ability to comprehend the core message of all world religions. I don't care what faith you are, everybody has been making this same mistake since the dawn of time. The Muslims massacre the Hindus, the Hindus massacre the Muslims, the Buddhists, everybody massacres the Buddhists. Jews don't even get me started on the hardline, right-wing, loving Israeli nationalists. And the Christians? You people say you believe in my son who says, turn the other cheek, but you've been killing everybody you can get your hands on since the Crusades. Can't you people see? What are you? different religious traditions out there, and different cultures worship a god in different ways. But the basic message is always the same, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, Shintoism. Every religious belief system under the sun, they all say you're supposed to love your neighbors. It's not that hard a concept to grasp. Why would you think I'd want anything else? religion or me as an excuse to kill each other. You've been doing that without any help from me since you were freaking AIDS.